Hi everyone, welcome back. This is the 29th video in our series on building a chess engine from scratch in the Java programming language. I'm really excited about this video because we're finally getting to the GUI. Um, so <clears throat> there are a couple more things that we'll need to do in the move class, but I wanted to take a break from it since we uh, created eight videos in a row on the move class. Um, so let's jump right into it. Um, here, what we're going to do is we are going to create a new class called table, but it's not going to be it's not going to be in the engine package. Okay, so what I'll do is I will say create a new Java class, and it's going to be called table, and I'm going to put it inside of, I'm going to say package com chess GUI. And I should be able to move that there, and it's going to automatically create it for us. We need to hit, put the semicolon there, and now we have a table class. Okay, and we're going to put a really, really, really basic outline on this. And I'm going to assume that you know something about GUI programming in Java. If you don't, you can start asking questions in the comment boxes. Uh, so let's say private, final, JFrame, game frame. And let's say um, public, for now, public table. We're going to have a public constructor. That'll change later because we're going to make this a singleton. Um, this dot game frame is equal to new j frame and we're going to call it j chess and we're going to say this dot game frame dot set visible is equal to true and we're going to also give it a dimension so we'll say this dot game frame dot set size is equal to we'll declare a variable outer frame dimension and so private static dimension outer frame dimension is equal to new dimension and let's just give it 600 by 600 you can change this as you see fit um, so we set that up right not much going on there uh, and I'm gonna come back here I'm gonna we put this class the the driver inside of the engine I want to move that I'm gonna say refactor move I'm gonna move it all the way up to just com chess okay So now it's above the GUI or the engine. We're sort of, it's like a loose MVC model here. And so let's just do a quick test here. Table, table is equal to new table. And okay, now let's try to run this and see what happens. I don't expect much to happen. Okay, great. So, um, right, so it did the printing that we had before, and it brought up this um, 600 by 600 uh, frame, made the 600 by 600 frame visible, and we can see the title that we had on there, J Chess. Maybe we should, maybe I should go in there and capitalize that. Be a little nitpicky here. There we go, that looks a little bit better. So what we're going to do is we're going to lay out tiles it's from zero, title from starting from zero all the way down to 63 here. And then we're going to put some graphics on those tiles. Um, and then we're going to have listeners that will listen for events where you, when you mouse click on a tile, 
and that then is going to be communicated to the engine in terms of the source tile and the destination tile where you want to move a piece. And if it uh, corresponds to a valid legal move, then it's going to execute that and refresh the GUI. Um, so, and we'll also have, you know, like a, a window panel up here for uh, menu options. Um, so why don't we, why don't we really quickly do one or two of the menu options and um, then we'll uh, come back and pick it up in the next video. So let's say we're going to say final J menu bar table menu bar is equal to new J menu bar. And we'll write a method called populate menu bar table menu bar. And let's go ahead and create that method. It's going to be private. And right. <clears throat> so in here we'll have table menu bar dot add and we'll have another method called create file menu. Okay and you'll see the pattern that we're going to follow here. That's going to be create file menu. We'll say final J menu file menu is equal to new J menu file and we won't set a mnemonic on it just yet. Um, we'll say final jmenu item open pgn. This is going to be to open a game from a pgn file. If you guys don't know what a pgn file is, I would uh, spend the time to look at it, but it basically would mean like a game that was played by someone on the internet. We'll take a look at sample uh, pgn files, but one of the things that we're going to want our GUI to be able to do is to load prior play, you know, prior games that were played by you know, whoever, other human beings or whatever. So P PGN is just a standard file format. We're going to have a way of loading it. So we'll have this menu item and we'll say is equal to new J menu item load PGN PGN file and um, right and We'll say open PGN dot add action listener, new action listener, and we're just going to say system dot out dot println. Open up that PGN file. We won't do anything right now. Um, we'll come back to that. I just want to so sort of show you guys the basic pattern. We'll say file menu dot add open PGN. And we will return file menu. Okay. So this should just sort of give you a gist of the general pattern that we're going to follow here. We're going to populate each one of these menus uh, with a bunch of stuff, but let's see if we can get the basic pattern working here. That didn't quite work. Huh. Okay. So, I think I added the file menu there. And the table menu bar was added to the create file menu item. And I think I think the last step that I need to do is I need to add the menu bar up here. So I need to say, after I've done the populate, I need to say this.gameframe.set j menu bar to the table menu bar. 
So this table menu bar was populated, but it was we never sort of associated it with the game frame. So let's come here and um, let's try to run it one more time. Aha, there we go. So now, notice I have a file menu bar, and I can hit load, and it will uh, print, print this out. So now you can see where we're going here. Um, I just wanted to start the GUI here in this video. I'm going to try to keep these videos a little bit shorter. I'm noticing from the YouTube analytics that folks are, uh, you know, after about six or seven minutes, <coughs> they, they tend to drop off. Uh, you know, it's hard to watch a video like this and, and stay focused. Uh, but I appreciate you guys' patience and time. Uh, please do uh, rate, comment, and like. And we will pick it up in the next video, uh, continuing along with the GUI. Thanks. Bye.